Hey guys, so we are going to talk about, in hindsight, again, 2020, hindsight is always 2020. I, even I think it's maybe a little unfair to Alpha Investments to look at these kits, right? But Alpha Investments, we would think a kit that he made would stand the test of time. Stay the course. What, what else do you say? It's Diamond Hands. 6.9, right? We would think a product with 6.9 in it would age like fine wine, right? A $700 bottle of fine wine that you want to now, now sell. But unfortunately, that is not the case. Um, we can recalculate the value of these things with MetaZoo having a much lower value. One of the chase items you could win is seven MetaZoo play or some number of MetaZoo playmats which very few people wanted, or a case of MetaZoo. That was another chase item that you could win. And for, and for everybody, um, the bottom of the box was actually a card from MetaZoo, a Rudy promo. And everyone was chasing the Rudy Claws at the time. I remember that very well because people were trying to sell that for $1,000, and that's where the value went. If you look at this box, everything in the box has gone down in value because it was a MetaZoo box. Okay? MetaZoo promos, MetaZoo playmats, MetaZoo kits, MetaZoo cases. Well, I mean, what, I mean, how much more MetaZoo could you really get? And let's be let's be honest about this. You know, let's not lie to ourselves. This was a MetaZoo mystery box. If you named it MetaZoo Mystery Box, people would have uh, not bought it. Okay? Um, I am 100% uh, going to say that in terms of what is happening right now and what is happening in the uh, future, MetaZoo is not going to go to the moon. It's not. Uh, even if it gets bought by a different company, it's going to struggle. Um, it's already struggling. It's not something where it makes sense to invest in. It's not not something that makes sense, you know, to put money in in long term. And the money, the money is important. Like seven hundred dollars. People laugh about what I said before. But at least where I live in Humboldt, Texas, you can have a very nice dinner for seventy dollars. Uh, and and a ramen restaurant and a buffet and a Vietnamese place, a Thai place, you know, maybe like a Longhorns if you're you know don't order the sides right. Seventy dollars Olive Garden, if you're Red Lobster, um, seventy dollars is ten dinner dates for two people with leftovers most of the time people people make fun of me when i say this but it's not a joke it, it's a lot of 700 dollars is a lot of money and many of these individuals were buying as many as they could i think maybe they maxed out at four because that's the limitation that he added but at the end of the day i mean it's it's really, really savage that he did this to them. It is very sad. It is um, seven hundred dollars, guys. In the S and P five hundred, had you put it in there, probably a thousand dollars more. Had you put it in there, I just don't get why these people are, are buying something. Did they know? I mean, it seems to me that they knew that they were going to get hosed, but they bought it because at that time they were still much stimulus money and and why why not, right? I mean, it seems like they were buying. Um, they were buying a lot of these cards or these boxes just to hold for value. I mean, there are people online with six, seven, eight boxes of this stuff. 
So my end conclusion should probably not shock you. I think this was a terrible investment. If it was something that you enjoyed and you had fun with, um, okay, I get that. But I, for $700, you can have a lot of fun today, right? You can go out to dinner. You can travel. You can buy stuff. Like $700 at the TCG con I'm going to will get me multiple dual hands. Easy. Easy, easy peasy dual hands, right? I think um, at the end of the day, the amount of money that he was getting from really, really bad, just, I mean, how can this be justified? I mean, I would love to, <laughs> to see someone, so you're going to celebrate get by getting hosed. Like, Really? Like, really, you're, you're going to celebrate your magic channel. And don't tell me it's not a magic channel. It is, especially back then, a magic channel, Magic the Gathering channel. And you're going to celebrate by forcing these magic players to get hosed by, by now having MetaZoo. You're going to try to convince them to do MetaZoo. Man, I, I don't get it, man. I don't get Why don't you treat the people who love you, the people who idolize you, the people who buy from you, your customers. There's nothing more valuable in life than like a customer, right? Why don't you treat them with some respect and not name a product 6.9? Why don't you treat yourself with some respect? Your name is Alpha Investment 69. You, I mean, what does that say? Like, how is that... Like we are past the age of Sam Bakeman free playing League of Legends while asking for sixty nine million dollars. That time is past. It's no longer funny. The FTX people they didn't find it all that funny, man. They didn't find it all that funny when they lost their money. You mess with another man's money, they're gonna they're they're not gonna be happy about it. it it's not even about the money, it's about the respect, right? You literally sold them, <laughs> you literally sold them a product called 6.9. Like, who does that? Why would they do this? It was funny back then, it's not funny today. Sam Bakeman Freed is now in jail. Anthony Farrar, who I cover on my Lust channel, L-U-S, at L-U-S. I've covered him for two and a half years. He is now in jail. He's been sitting in jail for at least two months now for stealing customers $4.7 million. <laughs> you know, I mean, maybe it was funny back in the day to hose your customers and treat them so poorly and Give them some Meta Zoo play mats and everything is hilarious to you, right? And hilarious to these guys who are getting hosed. They know they're getting hosed, right? Um, maybe. But, guess what? These people are not idiots. And they will learn. And your channel has not grown even a little bit since that time. It hasn't. You're stuck. Right? You're stuck. And now you're back to promoting Ravnica Remastered, Collector's Edition. Why don't you sell some dual lands to these guys? Right? You don't want them, right? You said dual land. You said old magic is dead. Why don't you sell them some reserve list boxes? Weatherlight. Why don't you sell them, you know, some really cool cards from Arabian Nights or something like that? Because <laughs> that would actually be giving them good value. Which is what I do, not you.